How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Oh, I don't have a weapon equipped, do I? What? What did I do? Where's my damn weapon? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not good. Oh. Okay. Okay, it's still just sitting on the other... Ooh, that was a close call. Okay, that was an embarrassing attempt at anything. I haven't really gotten a chance to explore all of level 11. I'm gonna go to level 10 instead of 12 because I also need to run back up to 9. I'm pretty sure 9 is where the black mushroom is hanging out and so I want to make sure I'm tracking down that mushroom. And so if I just wander around 9, eventually I'll find one staircase going up, one going down, and then I'll, I'll be able to go everywhere that I need to go. All in one handy dandy little trip. It's, it's called planning ahead. Although, forgetting to bring your weapon with you is not the best planning. Jesus, Blackstorm. Well, good way to waste like seven potions in the span of a half of a second. Duh. I think I just threw a potion in him in my desperation of trying to refill my inventory and heal. A demon's brain. Oh. Well, it maybe is what you were looking for. You didn't fill me in on that. I completely forgot about it. I'm here looking for other things. I super forgot about that. What quest was that a part of? Disturbing experience that I must share with you, my friend. Oh god damn it! Every just keep getting attacked every time I try to do anything on this level. There's so many of these things. They just keep coming. They don't stop coming. <laughs> <laughs> I I try to open up a menu, heal with a potion, do anything for more than a quarter of a second, and there's nine more of these. Look how many look at their dumb toes sticking up all over the place. God damn it. Yeah, I completely forgot about the demon's brain. I think someone in the comments gave me a heads up of us like, oh yeah, you missed it, because it's whatever the first demon you kill after getting that quest drops it, and so I like was super not prepared for it to be that easy to find and so I just walked right past it but then you just like you come back to that level and then the next thing you drop drops a brain again so there we're back on track with another quest that I had totally forgotten about did not take long to find an entirely new set of minions of these damn obsidian lords they're everywhere why are they all lightning lightning's my thing right now everyone quit stealing my thunder <laughs> I'll be honest I wasn't uh, that that came to me mid-sentence, and I'm insanely proud of it. I swear these guys make the same sound as the Unseen when they get hit. It's just, it's sped up and pitched up or something like that, but I think it's actually secretly the same sound effect, which wouldn't be too surprising. I mean, the Obsidian Lord sound effect is probably something else pitched down a little bit or something goofy like that. I'm pretty sure there's something in this game whose sound effect is... No, it's the opposite. It's like Diablo's laugh in the main menu of this game is something else slowed down. It's like the laugh from... Or the the random cry that the fallen make or something like that pitched down and slowed way down and all of a sudden... Oh, unique rags. Dope. I never find unique things. Finally, finally something worthwhile. Just kidding, it's fucking rags. But anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like an Easter egg or something. I'm gonna have to look that up so that I can... I'm, I'm gonna have to fact check that one a little bit and insert it when I edit this video. Because otherwise I don't want to totally perpetuate something that's just completely wrong. Stop with the rags. I have more than enough rags. I, I have a rare rags and a unique rags. I guess it kind of completes the set to get magic ones, but I don't want any of them. All of them suck. All right, I found up to nine first, so let's, let's wrap up the black mushroom as quick as we can. Short staff of circle of ice. There's a few too many ofs in that, in that particular item name. Couldn't have just been staff of ice circle? Couldn't have just been ice circle staff. You'd get away with zero ofs. You don't need to go so crazy overboard. Dawn of the planet of the apes. It's too many. I think if I were to write like a parody of a blockbuster movie franchise or whatever. Oh, Fungal Tome. That's what I need for the Black Mushroom quest, actually. Oh. Oh, okay, maybe I've already done that part of it, because... need that. Yeah, she's super against it. But I would make it, like, Dawn of the Rise of the planet of the solar system of the apes of the forest 
of of the primate's origin. <laughs> I don't know. I lost track. None of that probably makes sense. Going back a couple levels, it, enemies are actually noticeably easier. I, you don't really have to do anything. But I've been using the same damn weapon for like eight levels of this dungeon. I don't even know how long. Like an absurdly long amount of time. And that just continually makes me think, yeah, I probably should have upgraded to a better weapon by now, but I can't find one. Maybe I gave up on Wirt too fast. Maybe I need to give every cent I earned to Wirt, and sooner or later he'll give me something worthwhile. I'd love to trust his shop that, you know, he gives quality items now and again, but his reputation's just been kind of torn to shreds over the years. He doesn't really have a leg to stand on when it comes to customer satisfaction. Alright, looking around for this mushroom patch is taking forever. I was I was gonna start just running through all this and skipping enemies and I immediately just ran myself into a corner filled with things that I can't really run through, so... I guess I'm gonna keep fighting my way through, including through Osculaz. Eventually I'm gonna find this patch of mushrooms, but I'm gonna fight so many enemies to get there that it's gonna get buried under all their slain corpses and I'm not actually gonna be able to pick it because I can't won't be able to find it. Did I just find another unique set of rags? What the shit is that all about? Why? I've had no luck finding uniques for so long and all of a sudden I'm getting showered in this garbage that no one would ever want? I guess I don't exhaustively know every single unique item in the game. Maybe there's some insane rag that st stats are like way beyond what it realistically should be. They're the same exact thing. Talonsman Coat Remains. I found that twice. Just wonderful. Armor class minus three. Fantastic. Dexterity, quite a few resistances, extra damage taken from enemies, and altered durability. This one has better resistances, but I, there's no way I'm replacing Arcane's Valor, so you, you guys can get the hell out of here. I'll keep one. Precisely one of them. I don't do not need all of that. 27 gold. Just absolute fucking fantastic. That's not how that works. Well, at least Pippin will be all stoked on these brains. We managed to fetch one one item for the Excellent. time being. This is just what I had in mind. I didn't I mind. Oh, such a long goddamn ways to walk. This town really needs to build more bridges. Right click to add three points to all character base attributes. Ooh, do I just drink it? Do I just take it for myself or do I actually go and bring it to Adria? I guess we'll bring it to Adria just to just to see. Maybe she'll give something better. There's also a chance she just mushes my face and tells me to get the fuck out. I was also just thinking, Adria dresses like some sort of goth nun or something like this, but by the time Diablo 3 comes around, she really figures her shit out. Starts living that full-on, I don't know, cougar lifestyle. Lots of showy, colorful clothes. A little bit more of like, a little bit more shown off rather than this like, nun vibe thing of like, I'm a disgusting witch that no one should go what? near. Now you bring me that elixir from the healer? Oh, I was able to finish my brew without it. Why don't you just keep it? You made me walk all the way over just to tell me just to keep it. Well, fine, I wish I would have just drank it earlier. I might never walk over across that bridge to her again. How do you feel about being the loneliest person in this entire town? I'll, I'll gladly never visit you again. Shit, I, did, I gotta take the portal. <laughs> Alright, the caves are a little too clustered. I would love to just run past everyone, but... It's so tightly cramped around here that you can't really get around anything. An interesting fact that someone pointed out, I think it was relatively recently in terms of episodes, even though these get released so far apart from one another, that... So, I, my point being that I don't think I've talked about it on camera yet. What the fuck is up with this little corner of blood claws? 
Jeez, things really like to get crowded around in the caves down here. No, no concept of personal space. But what they were saying is that you'll always find staircases in the caves on the north walls. Uh, it could be, you know, on the east or the west side, but it'll never be on the south side. It's literally just kind of a case of how they drew things. Like when you're in the catacombs, they can stick the staircase just in the middle of whatever because it's one of those like pillars of a spiral staircase that you can walk down this is absurd i don't have to do anything the door is open these guys just can't figure it out but uh because it's like built into the wall oh god there's still another guy just chilling there the the art just based strictly on the art they're limited on where they could place it so you can literally just cruise your way around these outer walls and you should eventually find it I guess I'm immediately proving that wrong by the fact that there's one attached to that little island there but point being they'll ev they'll never not be attached to like a wall or something so scouting along the outside you should find it odds are in your favor at least oh god damn it both of these are not on the outer edge. But you see what I mean, right? This one, it, they'll never face on one of these southern southern walls, so that it gives you at least a little something to go off of. Whoa! Everything just became full rejuvenation. Aw, oh, man. That's like too good. I want to save that for later. <laughs> He sells these for 600 each and the regular potions for 150 so I guess I guess they're maybe not as crazy expensive as I thought but I would rather not spend all my money later on and I, I'd rather not waste some really high quality potions now so let's uh, let's just go stash these for when we maybe truly need them. I was being dumb before about like losing sight of where these mushrooms are that they become hidden under corpses or some Something equally dumb like that, I actually legitimately can't find these stupid things. Did I do the black mushroom quest already? What? What the fuck? I just went back and looked at the end of part 19. I have not done this qu quest. It was still there in the quest log. What did I fucking do? Was the- ah! Uh, was the brain and the mushroom the same quest? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know what I'm doing. But I, I don't need to be on level 9 anymore, I'll tell you that for free. Let's go, let's go back to 12, and we'll fight our way up to 11. Because I, there's still unfinished business going on there. We never, we never fully explored everything that that had to offer. I'm basically fighting the exact same things on this level that I was fighting on level 9. These ones are immune to lightning. Maybe the ones on 9 were as well, but if they were, I didn't notice that. Oh, mother of god. Alright, I gotta... Gotta go with the usual taking things out in little sections, because if you go stand in the middle of a big open area, you're gonna get hammered from every direction with lightning. I just leveled up, but I'm not gonna be able to deal with that for minutes. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Something did a ton of damage there. I don't know if I got charged or what, or if it was that unique guy. Maybe that's why these guys are immune to lightning. Are they, are they associated with... Nah, they must not be. They must be separate. Light Rip the Jagged. Extra strong. Yeah, this is the dude who nearly killed me, I think. Recipe. Assassin's Belt. That's neat. Dexterity. Please and thank you. Wow, I did not get an opportunity to explore very much of that before shit started going down. <sighs> decapitated. What? Why is, there, why is there two decapitated bodies? What is up with these things? What is up with these things just ripping the heads off of everything? I don't do anything like that to these guys. I, well, I vaporized that guy into, like, ash or something. But I don't go ripping their heads off. That's that's just weird. Although there are a few that I do just rip their heads off as well. Who's this bright white guy coming up around the corner here? He's got me a little bit anxious. War Master Abalam the Howler. Ooh, back Black Betty Abalam, right? <laughs> well... Maybe, uh, maybe White Betty there is not nearly as strong as Black Betty. There's White Betty, Ambalam, and Black Betty R Bambalam. I don't, I don't know how that song goes. I think I, I think I hate that song. It's just because it's way, way too overplayed and somehow I still don't actually know any of it. Oh yeah, take that! Take that portal straight to your face! 
I mean, it would be cool if you could, like, rip something in half with a portal. It was totally accidental that I cast it. But it dorkly has their whole video on, like, yeah, if you were just whipping down portals down in, like, the depths of hell here, or near hell, hell adjacent, then, like, wouldn't these monsters just run into town and kill everyone? Probably not a great idea to throw a portal at them. Oh, look at all these obsidian lords. They're just busy learning, just doing a bit of reading in their downtime, brushing up on on some of their second languages, maybe, doing a little bit of geography while they're at it. There's probably not a lot of geography for them to learn, though. If their entire existence is down in hell, there's there's probably not a lot, to, not a lot of information to absorb there. They study a lot of vertical geography. Hell, Earth, Heaven. And then sometimes they are given, like, a, a little column, and then these three little squares on the side, and they're like, pin the correct realm on the board. Oh, there we go, level 11. Oh, shit. Level 11 has these stupid, um, venom spitter things that can do so much damage if you accidentally just, like, stay standing in it. Weird that 9 and 12 had the exact same makeup of enemies, and then somewhere in between there, 11 decided to do its own thing. Baron as- oh, Jesus Christ, what? Man, why does- I, I have a lightning weapon, why is it always lightning stuff that really ruins me? Baron Azotrenur, the fire eater. Dude's lightning enchanted and eats fire? That's gonna be hard to deal with. Right click to learn, but it requires level 16. No, I'm level 16. Why was it red like that? Maybe that's just how they mark recipes. The soul jack is like decent and everything, but it's kind of hard to beat the hit recovery. Hit recovery is so crazy important. Seven all attributes. That's pretty damn good too. I, Ten armor class. Like I, it's actually it's actually pretty weak overall. Oh good, minus nine dexterity and minus two magic. Can't wait to use the amulet of dyslexia, and and paralysis. Jesus, but I I just like thinking of the fact that like as soon as you put this over your neck, you just suddenly can't read. Sure, I'll go get the bulk mushroom for you. I apologize. I don't actually know how dyslexia works. It's probably super inaccurate. Well, I found a stupid cauldron that spawned a town portal for me, so this is gonna pop me out on top of those enemies. Yep, basically as near as I could possibly be. Hopefully I can take out all his lackeys and everything and make this a little bit easier. Doesn't help when these guys keep spitting their poison and making uh, everywhere I'm trying to stand unstandable. Fuck, I didn't, I didn't make a new portal. God. Damn. All right, well, at least this time I'll be able to take the stairs and uh, can start picking them off from a distance rather than just being plopped down in the middle of them. Wait, if I just take the waypoint to 12. Yeah. The religious cauldron. What are you good for? Time cannot diminish the power of steel, so everything is just... Oh, it probably just repaired everything. All right, well, I'll, I'll lay down a portal down here in a nice, safe location so I can get back here as easily as possible. There's not many directions I can actually run right now because I haven't cleared out any of this level. So any way I run would just uh, put me in danger of waking up too many extra things. I guess this is where his fire shit comes in is he, shoot, he just shoots fireballs every now and again. That's a neat trick. He eats fire and he can spit it back out. I wonder how long it took him to to master that one. I would, uh, if you would lay out a hat for me, I'd, I'd drop a, what the fuck? I'd drop a couple bucks in it for such a great street performance there. Jesus Christ. Are my resistances that terrible? Is that what's going on here? My fire resistance is okay. My lightning and magic are non-existent. So that could be... That could be the culprit. Seems I'm possibly a little unprepared for this. Oh good, right, now now everything's gonna... <laughs> I forgot and now I just get to come back on top of everything again. That's just perfect for me. We're getting there though. We're taking a few of these things out at a time. Jesus fucking Christ, what am I supposed to do about that? I gotta run. I... Fuck. I'm super not equipped to deal with that. I, I just have to run away from it for now. No, 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 no! So running away is maybe not a great option. This is the hardest enemy in the game. 
I honestly don't know if anything else, any one individual enemy or boss has killed me that many times. Maybe. Maybe there's a boss that has. Now I have to go to 10. Oh shit, no, but I didn't actually clear out 10, did I? I didn't clear it out. Alright, well let's see if I can find the way down to 11. Because I don't think I, I don't think the other way is available to me anymore. Not welcome there. I'll try and, try and make use of my own tip of s just scanning these walls. Oh, god damn it! so many enemies. I mean, it's not my own tip, but I'm the one who brought it up, so there you go. That makes it mine, right? Oh, god damn it! This was a mistake. Everything is all in... Everything's all crowded together now. <sighs> Closing in on me from the sides. Oh, this is it. This is the pincher move. This is where I don't escape from. I I threw down a town portal though, so if everything follows me in this one direction. Damn it, damn it, damn, damn, damn. If everything just follows me this one direction, then I can teleport back to behind where all these guys are sitting here crowding around waiting for me at the moment. Alright, I gotta fight my way out of here for at least a second. That was a gong show, that's a good way to lose everything. You no longer feel arcane. I don't know, magic resistance or something? Uh, magic resistance. Yeah, that's... And I could use lightning. Any chance you want to switch that to lightning for my sake? That would that would help me out big time. <laughs> I should be so dead. Oh, running through is not a real option, it would seem. Oh, it's uh, the Flayer. Mr. The Flayer. That was... Well, that went better than it probably should have, but Jesus Christ, that's like a million fucking things to run through. I'm never gonna- I'm never gonna find the stairs down at that rate. Not- not the single most productive episode, is it? Having a lot of issues here. Alright, everything is over in that other direction there. I have a- I have this tiny little window to run through. No, just- just walk, just keep walking. Don't worry about the archers. They're stupid. They got nothing on you. You're the much better archer. Don't don't feel inadequate next to them. I, I'm you're great. You're wonderful. Everyone's impressed with your abilities and everything. Don't don't shy out of this now. I need you to be nimble, quick, thorough, accurate. Make maximum use of all of the all everything that I've invested in your cartography skills here that allow you to make such detailed maps. Ooh, chests. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, a chest. There's no time for this. Shit. Oh, there's everything that I was avoiding fighting all coming together now. No one wanted to no one wanted to let me through, hey? That's fine, I'll just stand here in the corner and I'll slowly kill every single one of you. If that's the way you guys want to do it. Oh shit, it's the smith. I just rediscovered the smith? What's up with that? Didn't think I'd be allowed to fight him a second time. Anyways, just quickly getting that out of the way. God. Damn, that took forever to find. Well, next time, guys, I'm going to take the stairs down to level 11. This is probably going to be an extra long episode. I was trying to keep the episode going, rolling things out, because I, I don't like to just end them randomly in the middle of doing something. I, I like to have a new quest lined up or, like, have just finished a quest or, quest or something. But now this time it was just a whole bunch of running around trying to... The black mushroom, I don't know what happened there. That just ended up, I don't know, I guess I finished it. I don't know what the hell happened there. And then I just couldn't get to this other damn floor. So, pick it up from there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.